Hi guys, in today's video, this is going to be a documentary about the Midland Valley Railroad. Let's do this. The Midland Valley Railroad. The railroad was incorporated on June 4th, 1903. Its main creator, C. Jared, last name I cannot pronounce, an industrialist from Philadelphia, who also owned coal mining properties in Indian Territory, now Oklahoma. The hope was to build a railroad line from Hope, Arkansas, through Muskogee, through Tulsa, and to Wichita, Kansas. The railroad got its name from Midland, Arkansas, a town with only 227 people as of 2020. The Midland Valley gained access to Fort Smith, Arkansas via trackage rights over the Frisco and the Rock Island. The reason the Midland Valley was created was for passenger service and freight service, but mostly passenger and oil service. The line from Fort Smith, Arkansas to Tulsa, Oklahoma was completed in 1904. The line from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Arkansas City, Kansas was completed in 1906. In that same year, 1906, the branch line from Tulsa to the Glenpool oil fields was completed and was the biggest part of the total revenue the Midland Valley made. In 1911, the full line from Fort Smith, Arkansas to Wichita, Kansas was completed. From here would be the peak of the Midland Valley Railroad. After this, it would be all downhill. From 1911 to 1929 would be the best years in the Midland Valley. The owner of the Midland Valley, Muskogee Company, based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, owned multiple railroads in Oklahoma. In 1925, the Midland Valley, otherwise known as Muskogee Company, acquired the Kansas, Oklahoma, and Gulf Railroad. When the Great Depression hit in 1929, the Midland Valley started to struggle. As air and car travel became popular, in the year 1934, as competition from other railroads and the Great Depression, the Midland Valley had to end passenger service. Two years after that, the branch line from Tulsa to Glenpool was closed. The Midland Valley, now in a horrible state, after losing passenger service and losing the biggest driver of revenue, and not to mention the Great Depression, the Midland Valley could not do anything else. Side note, the most serious accident on the Midland Valley occurred on February 1st, 1958, where westbound train 41 collided head-on with eastbound train 42 somewhere around Salisaw, Oklahoma. Four crew members died and seven were injured. Back on track, the Midland Valley was able to survive 28 more years until the Midland Valley was purchased by the Missouri Pacific in 1964. The Midland Valley was merged into the P Texas Pacific Railway, a Missouri Pacific subdivision, on April 1, 1967. The Missouri Pacific would last for 19 more years until they went bankrupt in 1983, and the Union Pacific took Missouri Pacific. The last train that ever went from Pawhuska, Oklahoma to Tulsa, Oklahoma was in 1983. And then sadly, the Union Pacific tore out the railroad tracks from Pawhuska to Tulsa. The Midland Valley Railroad legacy still lives on today. As part of the trail from Skytook, Oklahoma to Tulsa, Oklahoma was turned into a biking trail, which we will be riding in part two. And the track from Tulsa to Muskogee is still there, owned by Union Pacific. So in conclusion, the Midland Valley Railroad was a railroad that served much of west central Arkansas, east and northeast Oklahoma, and south central Kansas. I got one last thing for this video. The clip that you are seeing is the Midland Valley Tulsa train yard. This is where the Santa Fe and the Midland Valley switch trains together, now owned by SKOL. Thanks for watching, see you guys in the next video, 
Also, my next documentary will be on the Missouri, Kansas, and Texas line.